What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification gang for hitting the like button and the video ain't the start yet. Y'all the best ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Listen, man, I got a crazy one here for y'all, man. Um, hey, listen, listen, listen. There was a lady. I said this before, man. I I, I really, I really want to uh I really want to get on TikTok, man, because they 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 out there snapping, bro. Again, like I said, bro, I honestly thought it was like a, a app for kids to do whatever they want to do, like like a YouTube kids type of thing. And I'm like, bro, I don't, I don't care to do no TikTok, man. But people been snapping on TikTok, man. So I'm honestly thinking about joining. Um, if I do, well, of course, obviously, I'll let you, I'll let everybody know. Um, all, all that good stuff, man. But um, but let's 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 get into this video, man. So this lady made a TikTok, right? And they was trying to get this lady canceled because she was basically exposing all the stuff that a lot of the women do, a lot of the things that I've been telling y'all that these women do, especially when they're on these types of girl trips and all this, that, and the third. And so when I saw the video, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, bro, I gotta I gotta cam up for this one, bro. I ain't no way hell I'm doing a voiceover for this. No voice, no hell no. I need to cam up. I want y'all to see my expressions while I break this video down. So Again, like I said, she's a TikToker. The full thing is like maybe six minutes, man. We're going to play like a minute, two minutes, three minutes, and whatever, and just keep, you know, breaking down, stopping, stopping, whatever the case may be, and just going from there, man, because shout out to this lady um, for, uh, quote, unquote, exposing, and I, I'm saying that because they put that word in, in the title, but uh, for exposing um, the things that, that, that a lot of women like to do when it comes to girl trips and just cheating in general. You know, these are things that I've been saying for, four or five years bro on youtube these are things i've been saying for over a decade <laughs> you know what i'm saying so so let, let, let's 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 get into this video man um this 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 is about to be this is about to be a crazy one this is about to be a crazy one man let me let me pull this up hold on one second yeah man so so this 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 is the the tiktok video that you probably seen already this is the video that i was talking about man so um so yeah, you can see in, in her caption, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but you can see in this caption here, it says, uh, sugar, honey, iced tea, <laughs> um, that females are going to hate me for, uh, saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. All right. So let's get into this, man. Let, let, let's, let's watch it. This, this is about to be crazy. Shit that females are going to hate me for saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. Part one, the same way that men go through their kind of hoe phase, like their cheating phase, where they just don't know how to be faithful. Like y'all know what I'm talking about. That like that little phase that they go through normally when they're young, but some but some of y'all old motherfuckers go through it too. I don't know. We have that phase too. But ours is so much worse. Oh we know. Because we're going through our phase secretly. Yeah. You can go through a whole relationship with a woman thinking that she never ever cheated on you. Uh. And the whole time she was. Because when we do it, we put more effort into hiding it. You'll never find out unless we want you to. If you find out that a woman's cheating, she wanted you to know. That's why I can't stand behind the whole men ain't shit thing. Because men and women go through that ain't shit phase. Shit that females are going to hate me for saying, but I'm gonna say it. Let me let me let me pause. Let me pause this. What did she say, y'all? What did she say that I've been saying? Because I said this multiple times where I've said, yo, listen, I honestly believe that um that 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 women are smarter than uh than men. I've said this before. I've said, especially when it comes to dating, I've said women are better cheaters than men are. They're better at hiding things, they're better at being very damn discreet with who they're sleeping with, which is one of the main reasons why I tell guys all the time, there's no point of you asking her who, when was the last time you slept with so-and-so, when was the last time you've been sexually active, who you've been sexually active with, how many um, how many partners have you been sleeping with, because they're not going to tell you. There's no point of asking. You're wasting your time, sir. Her body count could be 20 to 30, if not more. She will never tell you. What's her body count going to usually stay around? Two, three. All of them except for two, three, guys. That's it. Only two or three. That's it. That's nothing more than that. Maybe three. Four tops. That's what they be saying. That's what they be saying. Y'all think I just make this stuff up? Majority of my friends are females, and they tell me the exact same thing. 
yo, listen, if I could, if I told my boyfriend how many guys I slept with, he would have a heart attack. Especially if they going through their whole phase. Especially if she went to college. Especially if she bad. You think you think she a damn virgin? Have you lost your mind? So excuse me if I want to keep it real with y'all boys and let and let y'all boys know what's up. And and that, that, that's why I, I be so happy when women like her come out here and start co-signing the things that we've been saying. Things that we've been saying. I love it. Because now, instead of women using their typical shaming tactic and trying to, oh, you're just bashing us. Oh, you're just doing this. Oh, 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 no. It's the, girl, it's the girls that you mess with. They're the girls you mess with that be doing this, that, and third. No, bro. No. Majority of these girls do the same damn thing. I told y'all before, bro, I lived in South Florida my whole damn life. When chicks come down here for spring break or summer or whatever the case may be, or just a random ass vacation, they be here to smoke, drink, and throw at. I'm telling y'all, boys, man. I'm telling you. When I travel, when I, I went to LA, um, a few uh, about a month, I went to LA for my birthday in March. Um, when I was in Dallas, uh, I was in Dallas. I want to say two years ago, two and a half years ago. Same damn thing. Them girls find out. Oh, you from? Oh, you out of town? Where you leaving? Bro, I'm leaving in about three days. Oh, say last week we slot what hotel you at? It was ready to throw ass because they already knew, oh, okay, cool, I can do whatever I want with this guy. He's not going to be here uh, this time next week, let alone in a few days. I get to act any type of way I want to act. I get to do the things that, that, that I can't normally do with my damn man and get away with it. And I love that she said it because it's the same thing that I said. Nine times out of ten, if you caught your girl cheating, it's because she was e she either didn't respect you like that, let me just say that, respect you, like that to the point um, that she didn't even care to hide her stuff, or she just wanted you to find her, find, find out, and wanted to end the relationship. It's usually typically one or the other. It's usually typically one or the other, which is one of the main reasons why I love when people say um, that women are more like cats and, dog, and men are more like dogs, because when dogs take a crap, they leave it out there for everybody to see. When cats take a crap, Cats try to cover it up with the damn cat litter. It's the goddamn truth. And it's a perfect analogy. And, uh, 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 what is it called? Is it an analogy or an example? Whatever. It's perfect. But let's keep going, man. Let's keep going. Because we, she, this, this, this was only, the, I think, the first minute out of five minutes. Let's keep going. Part two. Part two. So the reason why we friend zone you is oh. because... We are nine times out of ten not physically attracted to you. There it is. Yeah, but we know that we can get pretty much whatever we want out of you. And because you are in that phase with us where you're trying to impress us because you actually like us, you'll do pretty much whatever to try to impress us. And yes. we take full advantage. We know we can call you for anything and you will say yes because you're hoping that the friendship leads to something more. I promise <laughs> you, though, it's... It's not. If she wanted to be in a relationship with you, if she actually liked you, that would have been done. All the shit that you do for her, that would have been done if she really wanted to be with you. Yeah. And I am well aware that what I'm saying does not apply to all women. I do do girl trips. I, I love my girlfriends. And um, I think you do everything on the trip. And whatever you do, you're supposed to keep it on the trip. Right? You don't come back. So that's the don't. Trip. The don't is whatever y'all do, whatever you do. I saying does not apply to all women, but if the shoe fits, wear that bitch. I do do girl trips. I, I love my girlfriends. And um, I think you do everything on the trip. And whatever you do, everything. you're supposed to keep it on the trip. Right? You don't come back. So that's the don't. The don't is whatever y'all do. Don't, don't bring it back. I mean, don't it. tell. Right. You know, if you got a girlfriend that's going and she's married and she's flirting with other guys, let her do her thing. It's not your business. Ooh. Don't you go running and telling everybody, oh, my God, girl, she was talking to everybody and she knows she's married. Ooh. No, the girl's trip, she's supposed to have an amazing, yeah. fun time. And what happens on the trip stays on the trip. Wow. Don't worry about my bonnet. I'm about to go to... Wow. Wow. I did a video a while back. Right, I did a video. Let me let, let me let me hold on one second. We we, we all come right back to it. I, I want I want I want y'all to. I did a video a while back. I called it uh girls trips or something like that. Uh, fellas, what what is your girl really doing on girl trips or something like that? 
if I remember, I mentioned to put the I at the top. But I did a video on that topic a long ass time ago. And I had a lot of women that got upset about the things that I was saying. Some chick hit me up on Instagram. Oh, you said this and that and the third. Not all girls do that. It's just the girls you mess with. I did another video with um with with with, with, with the girl from the Miami trip. I forgot the name of it. Matter of fact, let me let me let me make sure I can I can I, let, let me let me make sure I find it because I I I really want y'all to goddamn to to watch these videos, y'all boys. Since since I don't know what the hell I be talking about. I don't know what the hell I be talking about sometimes. I called it, fellas, do you trust your girlfriend or wife to take a spring break vacation trip alone? This video. This video. I'll make sure to put the eye at the top. Right? I've done that video and where I've, um, with a girl who was running around and she was, uh, she had, I think she had like 15 different guys because she was there for however long she was there for in Miami. Um, she had, she was calling like bay number six, bay number 13, sitting on a lap, kissing them, doing all this, that, and the third. And then after her trip, she went back home and posted her main boyfriend talking about, oh, LOL, these was just jokes. This is my main man here. What? You can't be serious. So just like she said, oh, yeah, when we go out, we do this, that, and the third. You're not supposed to tell her, which is the reason why I told y'all uh, about the other guy who was hollering about, oh, well, why wouldn't her best friend tell me um, this, that, and third? Why wouldn't her best friend? Because that's not her job. Her best friend, her sisters, is not your best friend, not your sisters. They're going to lie for her. They're going to lie for her. This man was asking me, oh, why wouldn't she stick up for me? I don't get why. Because that's not her job. You're not her best friend. She is. You over here running around here talking about where my girl and where my girl at? You calling her damn best friend? Her best friend gonna lie? Oh yeah, she sleep. She she right here on the couch, right here on the damn couch. I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna wake her up in about 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna tell her to call you back. You and your stupid ass hanging the phone up. She gonna call her girl. Your boyfriend looking for you, girl. You need to hurry up and get your home. Get, get, leave that boy, whatever man house you at. Leave that man house. I don't get back to your boyfriend. Yeah. But y'all get mad at me when I say these types of things, bro. Here we have a whole woman who's confirming and then girls on The View who will say the same damn thing. These are grown-ass women that's in their 40s. Women doing that in their 40s. What, you don't think a chick doing that in their damn 20s? In the prime of her goddamn life? The peak of her life? What do you want to call it? Come on, bro. Let's get back. This, this, this is great. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Let me let me let me make sure I get I get my damn uh, my size right. I'm loving this. I'm thanking this woman till, till the day I die. Man, that's why I got my body on my business. But ladies, y'all gonna quit playing with me. <laughs> when I said when you get into a relationship, that girls trip and girls night out shit, you gotta dead that. Y'all know exactly why. Y'all be trying to play this little sweet innocent role yep. like don't nothing happen. Oh, we just hanging out with our girls. Y'all know damn well we be on straight bullshit on them damn girls' trips. But y'all try to keep it hush-hush from the men so that they don't know, so they think that don't nothing happen. But, bitch, I'm telling because we need to do better. So my statement stands. When your single friends is going, girls' night out, girls' trip, all that shit, keep your ass at the house yeah. if you are in a relationship. Brunch and mimosas, shopping, mani petties, shit like that. That is your time to shine with your single friends. All that other shit girl just just stay home just stay home it ain't worth it y'all go ahead and keep saying i'm capping and i'm a pick me and all that shit go ahead but you know everything i'm saying is actual factual so facts. keep playing with me if you want to shit that females are going to facts just like she said girls was going straight to to her in the comment section trying to trying to shame her Calling her a pick me show. Stop being a pick me show. Why is she, she a pick me show? Because she's telling the damn truth. I heard what she said. Everything I said is actual factual. <laughs> These things, bro, listen. I, 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 don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I, 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 I honestly do not get it. I just don't. I honestly and truthfully don't get it. I'm telling y'all when I go out and travel, what goes on. I'm telling y'all when chicks come down here to South Florida, 
what goes on. I was with uh, a chick a while back, man. Some chick out of I don't even I don't even want to say the state, but whatever. It, it is what it is. I don't care. It was a couple years ago. Some chick out of Arizona. And I want my homeboys to jump in the comment section and 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 and, and certify and make sure that everybody knows that I'm telling the truth because I screenshot and sent them the damn messages. Some chick out of Arizona came down to Miami, right? Met I'm, um, I, I met her when I was in Miami doing whatever. I think it was spring break or whatever the hell it was a couple years ago, right? Met up with each other. You know what I'm saying? She invited me to her hotel, went to a hotel, did this, that, and third. You already know what time it is. All that, right? She was here for maybe like four or five days or however long she was here with uh, here for, right? All this, that, and the third. She hits me up the last day before her flight. Her flight li uh, left li left in like uh, five or six hours. She calls me at like three o'clock in the morning. She's like, oh, well, you know, do you mind coming over to see me so we can, you know, smash one more time before I get up out of here? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, you know, I ain't going to trip. You know what I'm saying? And then the hotel is like maybe 15 minutes from the hotel. The, I'm sorry, the airport is like 15, 20 minutes from the hotel, so that's no problem. I'll come through. You know what I'm saying? Get that quickie, and I'll take you on your way. It's all good. You know, she was fine as hell, and it was fire. I ain't going to care with y'all. Did all that, took her to the airport. I want to say a couple months later, do you know, she posted her damn boyfriend talking about, oh, the love of my life, three years strong, this, that, and the third, nothing, nobody can come between us. And I'm just like, I screenshot the story. I sent it to the homie that I was with, that that we, that, that, that when we both went to Miami, I sent it to him, and he like, no, nah, bro, that ain't her. That's not, I'm like, bro, that's the same chick. That's the same girl. That's the same girl. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like, damn, that's crazy. Tag them and everything. I would have been wrong had I screenshot all the messages and pictures and videos she was sending me all while she was down here in Florida. And even when she left, even like weeks after she left, talking about, oh, I'm coming back soon. I can't wait to see you again. All that. All that. I would have been wrong if I screenshotted all of those, screen recorded, whatever, all of that. And hit her boyfriend up that she tagged him in the story. Hit her boyfriend up and sent him all them damn messages and the, the pictures. I would have been wrong. I would have been wrong. She would have called me flawed. She would have called me this. She would have called me that. Da, 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 da. Typical shaming tactics. But these are the things that tends to happen constantly. Over and over and over again. Just like she said. What she said? She, she said, ladies, y'all need to stop capping. Y'all know everything I'm saying is actual factual. Stop coming at me talking about, oh, I'm this, that, third. And she's like, oh, I'm snitching. That's what she said. She's like, yeah, I'm snitching because y'all need to stop. It's crazy, man. You hate me for saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. Part three, y'all. I got my nails done, so I'm feeling myself. So, you know, part three. So, you know that saying, nice guys always finish last? Here we go. I'm going to be honest. There's some truth to that. I want you to really think about this. Have you ever had a girl sit there and tell you how good of a guy you are? You're just so perfect. Any girl would be lucky to have you. Like, have you ever had a girl give you that little speech? Like, y'all know what I'm talking about. Have what? you ever sat back and wondered, like, okay, if I'm so perfect, then are we together? Why don't you be with me? Right. I'm such a nice guy, and girls would be so lucky to have me. So why don't you be lucky? Exactly. Like. <laughs> Be lucky and you have me. Yeah. One thing that it could be, not all the time, but it could be this. You're too nice. Ugh. And I know that is such a Dude, fucked up thing to say because you're like, how the fuck yeah, could you be too nice? Talking. Like, how is that a thing? But females, we have this thing. And it's not right. I'll, I'll be the first to say it. it's not right. It's so fucked up. But we have this thing where if you are too nice... If you have no masculine energy to you at all, if you're just too nice, it's cringy. No, you're gonna be it's zone. one of the biggest Friends turnoffs zone. for women. Like, yeah. I don't give a fuck what she told you. I don't care what she says. I don't care. There's going to be females in these comments saying, that's not true, bitch. Yes, the fuck it is. It is. And you have done it. Don't lie and say you haven't. Why do you think girls always go after that guy who's kind of an asshole why do you think that's a thing why do you think that is it's because he's more masculine than the nice guy <laughs> even though we know the nice guy is better for us we know he is we crave that masculine energy we crave it it's like how you know you're supposed to eat healthy like you know that you should have a salad yeah but that double bacon cheeseburger just be hitting so different it's the same type of concept when it comes to nice guys and the assholes.
And yes, I know okay, men are not food. Don't okay, be coming exactly. for me in the comments. I'm not saying that men are food. Okay, I'm just exactly. giving you an example so that you can understand it a little bit better. Don't take it to heart. Don't be getting all in your feelings in the comments. Chill out. I also know that what I'm saying does not apply to everybody. Perfect example. But they have all the stuff that you be saying to be kept. You be out here bashing women. You just speaking from a place of hurt. You just projecting. Damn, I didn't know I was doing all that. I thought I was just spitting down facts. And the issue, in my opinion, the issue within the dating world, more important, more so in the black in the black community, in the dating world, is we don't have many women like her that's going to keep it real. Her example was perfect. The hamburger versus, I think she said the salad or fruit salad, whatever the hell she said. Like, it, it was perfect. You and I both know that fruit salad or salad or whatever it was, them vegetables, is going to sustain our body and bring me all the nutrients and vitamins and minerals that I need to, to, to sustain myself daily. But that devil bacon, that burger, cheeseburger, whatever with the goddamn, all that, it be hitting so goddamn hard. It's different. It's a different, it hits different. And it's just like she said, yo, listen. And to answer her question, because she was like, oh, you know, um, you know, has any guys ever had dealt with a girl that said that, oh, you're just so nice. Oh, you're like a brother to me. Oh, you're just like my best friend. And you're just so da 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 Yes, I've been through that to answer her question. Yes, I have. And I have the same exact thought that she said. If I'm all those damn good things, if I'm such a good ass damn man, a good, I have legit had a girl tell me that, oh, oh, I know you'll be a great husband, even better father. Okay, cool. So why aren't we together then? If I'm all that, they be capping with it. I have videos about that too. Nice guys finish last. Uh, uh I'm sorry. Uh, for why, why do nice guys finish last? Where, if I remember correctly, this this was about two years ago, man. I can't even, whatever. But if I remember correctly, that was around the same time that guy was asking me. Uh, he basically was trying to solidify him and some chick that he'd known, he met in college, I think, for however many years took her out on a cruise, and then she ended up sleeping with another guy on a cruise. She didn't sleep with him. He was like, yo, every time I try to kiss her, she hits me with the, oh, I'm moving too fast, and it's that third. Mind you, they've been dating for damn near two years. But when he tried to kiss her, he tried to grab her ass, oh, you're moving too fast. And then she met some random-ass guy on a cruise ship, and she smashed him the same night. Crazy how that works. Crazy how that works. Now, all of a sudden, you got... Uh, so, and, and that's one of the main reasons why I personally don't care to, uh, to to slow down when it comes to like relationship. I personally don't care to slow down because you're not a damn virgin. You've slept with guys, multiple guys before. You probably had a train run on you before. You probably had a one night stand before. Now all of a sudden you see me. Now all of a sudden it's oh well, I just prefer we be in a relationship first. No, no, I'm not doing that for what? Why? She made a perfect example. She did a great job. Again, this is the same girl that a lot of people on TikTok, like a lot of people on TikTok, they're trying to get her account removed and all this stuff. Just stupid stuff, bro. Just stupid stuff. All because she's telling the truth. All because she's telling the truth. Just like she said, we don't like nice guys like that. The guys are always trying to make her laugh, try to do all these damn main things. Just like she said, we're going to use him for whatever we're using him for. And then when you get tired of him, we're going to toss him to the damn side and get with that guy that has that masculine friend, that masculine energy. That they crave all the damn time. Perfect example. She did a perfect damn job. And I thank her for this. And I hope she keeps them going. With exposing the BS and the nonsense that a lot of these damn, um, you know, w w women, women do uh, today. This ain't nothing new. Everybody love coming at me. Oh, Deb, you just making stuff up. You just overreacting. You just this. Oh, Deb, these are, you just projecting. This is just a girl. These are the hoes you mess with. These are hoes you mess with, Deb. You don't want to mess with these girls. Okay. One thing that I've noticed, um, and this is not just with uh, with relationships or women or anything, but just people in general. One thing that I've noticed is that when the shoe fit, people wear it. When a shoe fits, people wear it. When a hit dog, uh, when, when the dog gets hit, they're going to holler. Those are the things. This is the whole thing. I repeat to Kevin Samuels. This is the whole thing with Kevin Samuels' channel. This is the whole thing with Kevin Samuel's channel. If you are not, if you are not 
anything that Kevin Samuels talked about was when it comes to women. If you're if you weren't any of those women that he mentioned or talked about, you shouldn't care. Y'all know how many uh channels, YouTube channels that's out there that's dogging black men, talking down on black men, doing this, that, and third. Do y'all see me in them comment section? Oh no, black men don't do this, that, and third. No, because that's your experience. You that's what you experience. I'm not like that. But who am I to try to tell you other damn wise? When I know the truth is that there is black men that do this, that, and third, and blah, 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 whatever the case may be. I'm just saying, man. This was a great video. Shout out to her again, or whatever her damn name is. I should have looked at her name on TikTok. I didn't even think to, but whatever. Shout out to her again. She the truth. She the GOAT. But keeping it real, and I hope she keeps and she continues to keep it real. I hope she continues to keep it going. She did an amazing job. Amazing job. There is no point of you being so goddamn nice. I've told y'all before, fellas, I don't got more with less. There are so many times I don't got more with less. So many times I don't got more with less. I've literally had chicks come to my house after they left a date with some guy that took her ass out to uh, Morton's or Ruth Chris or Maestro's spending three, four hundred damn dollars. She will have him drop her off to my house. And I'm like, Man, who was that guy that just after? Oh, some guy that 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 uh, that that that, do, that does this that a third. I'm like, okay, y'all dating or something? No, 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 no. This is some guy. I just use him for money. I just use him for expensive drinks and all this that a third. Now nah, you don't fill her stomach up with Alaskan snow crab, mimosas, green martinis, and some goddamn cake and whatever other crap. Filled her up, gave her all that energy to come to my place and slide me down. That's crazy. It's crazy how that works. Crazy how that works. You spent three, four hundred dollars on it. Only thing I did was open my damn door and buy her in. Yeah, baby, go ahead. Here's a remote control. Go ahead, change the channel to whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, Netflix show you want to watch. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do you think? So when I talk to y'all boys again, ladies, too, when I talk to y'all about these certain things, it's not me talking down on anybody. It's not me bashing anybody. It's about literally me raising awareness for these guys, because she said it best. If this guy is such a good, and, I, and I've been in that situation, if I'm such a damn great guy, if I'm all this, that, I legit, literally, literally had this damn lady tell me this. I think you'll be an amazing husband. You got your stuff together. Back then, I think I was doing bachelor's back then. Oh, oh, you you, you, you seem to have your stuff together, and you got this, and you got that. You about to finish your bachelor's, and I, I, you, you'll be such a great husband. I know you'll be an even better father. I just know it. I just know it. Okay, so what's the problem, bro? Why can't we be together? What's up? It's all BS and cap. It's all BS and cap. So, fellas, y'all boys have two options. Y'all boys got two options. So, which one do you want to be? Do you want to be the guy that's over here spending three, four hundred damn dollars on date night? And then all, all, all you trying to do is just lean in for a kiss and she hit you with the Oh, you moving too fast. Okay, you wasn't moving too fast when you had that one night stands with them guys. You wasn't having, you wasn't having no goddamn. Oh, oh, you not moving too. Oh, you uh, the guys wasn't moving too fast from the guy um, from the guys from your college campus. They got to smash you at the goddamn house party, and you only knew him for a week or two. But here you are, dating her for six months a year, doing all this, that, and the third, and you try to lean in for a kiss, you can't even get a kiss. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. In my video, and I and I will make sure to put the eye at the top if I remember. In my video, the um the nice guys finished last video. If again, if I'm not mistaken, I'm I'm almost certain that's the video where I was talking to um the guy that had took this chick out on a cruise, and all uh, he he did a whole bunch of different things. But he was like, "Yo, listen, I'm gonna try to finalize it with that." He was like, "Yo, listen, I'm 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 gonna put her on this cruise. I'm gonna ask her to be my girl, and this, that, and third, and hopefully she says yes." And this man hit me up with like just with embarrassing was FaceTime, and this man had tears in his damn eyes. Had tears in his damn eyes. He was like, yo, I was buying her drinks. I was doing this. I was doing that. And she kept dancing on some guy. And I told her that I didn't like it. And I felt uncomfortable. And her response was, oh, well, you know, we're just having fun. I'm just having fun. She ended up going to his goddamn, uh, his goddamn room in the damn crew on the cruise. The cruise don't go went there, whatever. 
on the cruise. Went back to his room, smashed him, got back to their room around three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, took a shower and then, and then hopped in bed. And he was like, yo, like, what the hell was that about? And she was like, oh, well, you know, I'm single, so I can do what I want to do. You're right, you single. And matter of fact, you can go and sleep in his damn room because you're not going to sleep in my room. You're not going to sleep in my room. So again, when I hear these damn stories over and over and over again, bro, uh, I have nothing but, uh, I try to have sympathy for, sometimes I was just stupid, I just laugh. <laughs> but I try my best to have sympathy for these boys, man, because it's like, bro, listen, like, I, bro, there's only so much you can do, man. There's only so much you can do. I, I've said this before. I like I like girls that like me. I don't go back and forth about all this, that, I don't got time for that. I don't got more with less. There's no reason for you to be spending a hundred, two hundred, five hundred dollars on a goddamn date night just to just for a possibility of figuring out if she's feeling you the way you're feeling her. It is that's way too much. You don't got to do none of that. You don't have to do none of that. So again, fellas, which one do y'all want to be? Do y'all want to be that guy that's spending three, four hundred dollars for date night? Just for that church hug where she backed it, where she screwed her booty out and she hit you with the. <laughs> or you want to be that guy that's getting swallowed down? Slob down. Which one do you want to be, man? Um, shout out to this lady again, man. She is the GOAT, man. She is the GOAT. Um, shout out to her again. Towards the end of this video, I'm going to play the video out in its entirety without me sharing screens. I'll put it towards the end of the video or something like that so people can see it. Um, again, again in, in, in its entirety, I'm going to play the full, I think it's like five or six minutes or whatever, man. So, um, but anyway, y'all, comment down below and let me know what y'all thought about this video, man. This is crazy. This was crazy. Couldn't have been me, boy. Couldn't have been me. Shout out to her again for like the ninth damn time. She the GOAT. I appreciate and love her for doing this, man. Um, anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. Please, 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 if you haven't, hit that subscribe button, man. Also, too, hit that bell symbol on the side so anytime we can upload, notification will pop up and alert you. Also, too, make sure y'all hit that like, make sure y'all hit that share. I look forward to reading all y'all comments, if any. So, until next time. Please, man, y'all be safe for her, cuz. Your average, I'm mad sick when I spit that shit. When I spit that flow, she gon' want to catch my drift. Soon as a nigga get some money, they try to spit on it. They ain't put it on his bottle, so they can't sip on this. Don't you try to boost me up, don't try to get on, bitch. Cause I'ma act like I don't know you, nigga, that's real shit. I'm from a place where you get chased with full clips, AKs, and that type of shit. By the police, bitch, they quit the throw them seeds on you, so bro.